life kids. I really hope that you've had an excellent week. I'd like you to meet somebody. This is Tearful Ted. Say hello Tearful Ted. Now Tearful Ted gets very tearful and starts to cry when he gets scared. Have you ever been scared before? What makes you scared? Tearful Ted doesn't like the dark. He doesn't like trying things new. He gets really scared up high and also in small places. Our story today is set in a barn with a cat <coughs> and a dog <coughs> and a cow <coughs> and a donkey. <coughs> But the main character of our story is called Cecil. Now Cecil was a spider. Cecil was the meanest, nastiest, grumpiest spider in the whole barn. And the cat, the dog, the cow, even the donkey knew that something had to change. One day, a, a fly came into the barn and Cecil was his new, usual, miserable self, sat in the corner of his web. Cecil was waiting for the spider to get caught so he could have his dinner. He was rude and nasty to everybody that he met. But the cat, the dog, the donkey and the cow knew that this could not go on. So the fly came over and Cecil began to smirk. He was waiting to pounce, ready to take his next victim. When the fly came up to him and said, Oi! Cecil! There's a bigger and better and scarier spider than you and he was wanting to take over your barn. Now Cecil was so rude and angry, there's no way that he wanted anybody else to come into the barn. So immediately he scurried along with the fly to see and challenge this spider. The fly said, it's over there. Just have a look in that bucket. And as Cecil looked over, he looked straight into the bucket and yes, it was right. He saw the biggest, scariest spider he'd ever seen. Cecil was so shocked and afraid. Ah! He scurried away and was never to be seen again. Do you know that that spider was not another spider? It was Cecil's reflection in a bucket of water. Cecil didn't recognise himself. He didn't know that that horrible spider was him. He was shocked and disappointed in himself that he wanted to change. Just like the disciples right at the beginning of their journey, they were very different characters. They had an encounter with Jesus, which changed their lives for life. There were times that they were worried and scared and frightened. But Jesus is our King and ruler of all. And if we go to him in prayer, he will answer our prayers and he can change us from inside and give us a really loving heart. Now, Tearful Ted, do you know one thing that I'm afraid of? Ah, can you see what that is? It's a snake. And I'm afraid of snakes. I don't like them particularly. This one is just a pretend one. But I don't think I would have the strength or the courage to actually have one around my neck for real. Do you know, fear is actually built into everybody's brain. Fear can be a good thing. Fear can stop us from causing harm to ourselves. 
fear is even in little babies. They can't talk and when they hear a sound or something that startles them and surprises them, they often cry because they don't know what it is, causing a warning sign for the parents to go check and see if they are okay. Now I think that the disciples, they experienced fear. Maybe not the fear of snakes, although there might have been lots of snakes where they lived. Maybe not the fear of heights, but quite possibly the fear of uncertainty. There were times when they didn't know what was going to happen next, but yet they had to trust in Jesus. So we're still continuing to look at the 12 disciples. Do you remember who we've looked at before? James and John, Andrew and Peter, Thomas and Matthew, last week, James the Less. Now this week, we're gonna look at two disciples who do have some funny names. The thir first one is called Thaddeus. Can you repeat that after me? Thaddeus, that's right, good. Now Thaddeus was the son of James. Sometimes Thaddeus' name was also Judas, but we're gonna call him Thaddeus. He was to believe to have been a missionary to Edgar. He was a king of Edessa. And then later on, we believe that he went off to a very important place called Macedonia. And that was in Western Asia. After his encounter with Jesus, he was convinced on spreading the good news that Jesus was the Messiah. The next person we're gonna learn about today also has a funny name. His name is Bartholomew, Bartholomew. Now, we believe that Bartholomew's name comes from a ploughman. So perhaps his parents worked on the land. Perhaps they, they did something like farming. We know that Bartholomew, he was there when he saw Jesus go up into heaven. And he also later became a really brilliant missionary, telling other people about Jesus and who he really was. So those two new people we've learned about today is Thaddeus and Bartholomew. Do you think you're gonna be able to remember them? I do too. Oh, oh, tearful Ted, stop crying. There, there, it's okay. I've got some very important news to tell you. Do you know something? In the Bible, in the Old Testament, in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Isaiah 41 verse 10, it says, don't be afraid. <gasps> oh, those things that have made you afraid today for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isn't that brilliant news, tearful Ted? Are you still tearful? No, I don't think he is. I think he probably needs a new name now, now that he knows that he can trust in God. So for our craft this week, we are continuing with our 12 disciples. If you missed the other week, then here's a very quick recap. All you need is a piece of paper. You fold that in half, and then you fold it in half again into quarters. From there, you turn the front bit back, 
and then the other bit back there, okay? Make sure then that you can draw your shape of your disciple and cut around it. That then will allow you to have your disciples. Cut through the middle and then attach them at a hand and repeat that three times. From there, we just need you to colour in the disciples. So we do have James and John, Andrew and Peter, Thomas and Matthew, James the Less, and then today we've got two new characters. We've got Bartholomew and Thaddeus. So there we go, that's our disciples we've learnt about so far. Keep adding to them, that's wonderful. Uh, next week we're going to be taking a pause from learning about the disciples and uh, looking at uh, Pentecost and that's the time where the disciples um, experience the Holy Spirit. So we'll be really looking forward to learning about that next week. But in the meantime, have a lovely time finishing off your disciples and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.